last episode, you saw us get uh, killed in the house uh, by the doctor kind of thingy. This is the map where we are now. The map's ex absolutely randomized every time. Uh, the wolfman is in our house. I could feel your stench from afar. You should be thankful I don't have appetite for carcasses, eh? He hides his under he hides his face under a hood. He smells of wet ground and fur. I came after you reek to inform you about something, but so looking at you face something already has done just that. These woods are full of little trinkets, treasures. If you find anything valuable, I'll gladly have a look at it, maybe even give you something in exchange. Now that it is in north east uh, it's in the northeast part of the meadow. May, may I know? Remember this be because yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Show item dog tag. We can also show that. So the last episode, I told you it wasn't really the the the, the, the real game and stuff. Uh, this really is the real game. And he gave us a bucket. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But I'm gonna try to stay alive as long as possible. We don't have any skills. The journal over here. We can read stuff that happened. Notes, dog tag, keys, and other stuff. <laughs> so this is the full game. And what we're gonna try to do is try to stay alive. Um, before you guys say anything else, um, I'm just gonna loot my own place because this is my own place. This is my hideout, which we will be using a lot. Um, I know a lot of people are waiting for my Team, team Fortress 2 video, and I will make that one soon. Promise me. I, I promise. Uh, I'll make it maybe tomorrow or the day after or something, but I'll try to make it st make it fast. First of all, we need to get these large mushrooms. Just gonna harvest those because I know a little bit about this game. Of course, I've, I've played uh, a little bit over seven hours now, just to get a little bit of fuel for the game, you know, so we don't die uh, every time we try something. It's a really hard game, though. It's a really hard and unforgiving game. This is actually just a survival game. This is a corpse. Okay, we can search that generator with not that much fuel in it. Um, so the the point of this game is to survive, and yeah, well, there's, there's some sort of storyline in it, but I've heard it's not really not done yet. I'm just gonna create this well. Every night we need to drink from this well, or else we'll die. So that's something we need to, you guys need to keep in mind. Um, so what the what we're gonna do is is just gonna make sure that we have everything in here because I want to loot right now. I'm gonna search for a place where we can loot. Um, we have no way to know where we are on the map only by being in in the place, and we have no idea from the time. But I think I will go left because it's uh, closer. Just gonna try to search some stuff through. And try not to die. This game is really hard, so we'll, we'll, we might die multiple times. Uh, that's okay, because I don't have permadeath on. I just wanted you guys to know that if you do, guys do not like uh, me looting and stuff and whatever, uh, then this it won't, probably won't be a series for you. So corpse, we can search. So as you can see, it's always dark in this game, even during the day. We have the map right here, yeah, I know that. And at night, there are monsters coming out. It's kind of like Minecraft, actually. Uh, I think this game is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, and I will keep playing it. It's just that if a lot of you guys don't enjoy it, um, I of course I will also make uh, a lot of Team Fortress 2 content. Um, as you can see, we didn't really have anything here. I'm just searching for some sort of hideout or maybe a sort of campfire or something with dead people around it or something. Just to, something to loot, you know. So I'm just gonna search for that right now and try to stay alive because there are a lot of poisonous mushrooms on the ground. And when you step on them, it's, it's like half HP right away. It's over. So, oh nice. See this, as you look at the map right now, you can see it's right here. So, that's kind of how we know where we are. Uh, I, I just hope that we can loot anything around here. Uh, possibly not. But we could also, also try. Okay, we cannot loot anything around here. That's that's a bit sad, because I was hoping that when you fight something like this, you could loot. Um, I think the best thing to do is right now to go there. Because I think there's the Wolfman's Camp. And I think we can loot anything at all there. So, I'm just going to... So the part, uh, the, I think the smartest thing to do in this game is to try and find uh, a lot of uh, a lot of hideouts and stuff, so you know where you are, you know, because this is this is our hideout, this is our, our place. It's actually raining right now. That's that's pretty okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna gonna like go right here and try to find anything at all to loot, because um, we need to survive. The first night's not really that hard night and hard night, but the the nights after this is poisonous mushrooms. We know we must not walk over there. But the nights, like after that, they will get worse and worse every night. And we can harvest uh, a, a, some kind of mushroom, uh, which we can use to level up, which will give us 
uh, some skills, which was coming handy, of course. And right now I'm just trying to... Okay, this is something we can loot. That's nice, because I want to loot as much stuff as possible. But we don't have, we don't we do not have a weapon yet. Can I make a weapon? No, I can only make a lockpick. Okay, that's that's pretty Bear Trap, not sure who armed it, but it's mine now, because I'm gonna harm it. Okay, there's a crate over there. Locked, I could use Okay, I'm gonna make a lockpick and I'm gonna open this. To see if we can do anything with it. I hope there's some good stuff in there. Please lockpick unlocked. Okay, nice. Ah, oh, pills, battery. A flare may co might come in handy. Uh, it's not really the best crate I've had, but it's uh, it's pretty okay. And there's another crate right here. Oh my god, can't believe I did that. Okay, oh, it's actually pretty good loot over here. I'm guessing this one must be open the lockpick as well. I cannot make a lockpick. That's 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 not pretty good. Maybe can maybe we can lick a lockpick right now. Okay, nope, nope. We need uh, another kind of string for that to happen. Oh fuck. Okay, that's that. What you just heard was a dog, a wild dog. If he attacks me, I'm fucked. Just trying to get this. It's really hard to see things in this game, which I think adds a little bit to the spooky factor. I was hoping to find the hideout before, because it's really easy to get lost in this game, and you do not want to get lost, especially not in the first night. So I'm just gonna go back and. Oh fuck. I think it's following me. Yes, it definitely is following me. Please, leave me alone. Dog, don't attack me. I have nothing. I have no weapons. Oh, fuck it, attack me. If we die at this this time, like... Oh my god, okay, we're... These are not searched. It left me alone. That's good, that's good. And now we have a problem, because I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Can't believe we lost track. We actually got lost in the fucking first episode. I'm really sorry about this. This is actually not the first episode, but it's the first night. and It's a really important night, because I don't want to... I really don't want to die in the first night. Of course, it's not the night, it's still day, but... Wood logs, I'm just... Hoping to find some sort of... Lead, uh, some sort of mark on the map, because as you can see right now, it doesn't show anything. It doesn't show where we are. The only thing I know is that I want to go to the hideout. And so I can store some stuff. Bear traps. Always, always handy to, to get those with you. Because they will uh, give you scrap metal, which you could use later on. Oh god, I'm just... I know it's pretty cool to like loot at this point, because it's a lot of loot we can find real quick. By getting lost. <laughs> I wish this one was on the map. Problem is, I have no idea where I am. New journey. Oh, fuck, it's getting dark already. I need to return to... I don't know where my hideout is. Oh, yes, I found it. <laughs> oh, my God, that would have been so bad. Okay, here are mushrooms we, we could use. <laughs> Always nice to have that one. So what I'm going to try to do right now is... It's the first night, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but you cannot be outside, of course. And the real problem is that you, if you do not drink out of the well, you will die. I just want to... Make sure that I can... I'm just gonna craft one of those. It's pretty important to get some traps around. Um, but the most important thing is that... We're gonna make some planks. It, it costs a lot of gasoline to make only one plank. So it's really... Over, you get them in free, free planks, but... It's really a lot. Uh, but it works for me, because... I need those. You know, it's... Those, those are pretty necessary. Because you need to make a lot of stuff out of that. The planks are... You, you could usually find them, but not anymore since the... I don't know how many, many patches you go. Uh, but they're really important to make at least this weapon, the plank with nails. It's really... Not really that hard of a weapon, but... As you can see, it's getting dark now. I'm not sure how long we are recording at this moment. I don't think it really matters. I think after the first night, we'll quit this episode. Or maybe we'll do some other searching or stuff. But... Uh, the point is... It's a whole storyline behind this, and we need to figure out that. But I think the most important part is to stay alive, because if you die, it will cost you some loot, and it will cost you the level ups that you got, that you've gotten. So yeah, that's really the, the the thing about this. Is you can see, we need to drink right now. Come on, drink. Thank you. And it's night. It's getting night, actually. It is night at the moment, I think. And the thing I want to do is I want to stay alive. So I think I'm just gonna stay here. It's not really the best place. Anymore. 
Alright, I'm just gonna search for a good place to hide. Because this will it will turn dark really quickly. Maybe I can repair this doorway. I think I will do that. Yep. Costs a lot of wood. Not sure if it worth if it worth if it worth uh, if it worth it, but I think it is. So I'm just gonna Oh no wait! Ah, oh, I craft another one. Oh that's okay. That's okay. I just wanna place down one down in front of this uh just to be sure, you know, because if there are any monsters coming through those, I need to be sure that I'll stay alive, because it's the first night, so likely there won't be any monsters that will come for me. But you never know. So in the night there's not really much you can do. The point is just to stay alive and normally I would have used my furniture 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 to like push it in front of me so I won't die. I think I will do that with a closet. Uh, I'm just thinking I'm just gonna put the closet like this so when monsters come they will push against it But it won't really hurt me or anything uh, Because right now if there are monsters are coming uh, this weapon is really uh, really bad It doesn't really do doesn't really do that much damage and it, it dies quickly. It's like it breaks quickly and stuff I uh, don't expect it to last very long just like the last episode, but this is like the, the, the thing we need to do We need to first of all I think the best thing to do is just to get stuff like this you know stuff where you can see on the map where you are and I think the rest is just all, it'll all fall apart eventually. But I think the most important th important thing is just to stay alive and try to uh, try to get as much loot as possible because I oh, I love looting in games, especially when you need it to survive. Like this is really a cool survival game. It's also really creepy, but it's a real cool survival game. I really recommend this game though. It's a really cool game. I'm gonna check real quick if I can make anything at all. We we did manage to get a lot of stuff though. Like a flare is pretty pretty helpful. And, well, we have another bear trap, which we can place, uh, which I will place next morning, because I know where we're going to place it. And, uh, well, gasoline is always helpful, but we didn't find any gasoline, but as you can see, this is something we can craft, all, all of this. And this is really one of the most vanishes with alcohol. Heal surf wounds. Oh, okay, well, I, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty new to this game as well, guys, so... The only thing I know is that I want to survive, and it, I know a little bit how, how to survive, but I never really survived more than seven days or something which is uh, pretty bad but i never really tried that hard to survive actually i was just trying to loot and find a good place and just get a little bit of hang of it because you have no tutorial on this game you need to figure out everything out yourself and i think that's okay because it's a really cool game and the tutorial will come later but just gonna nights are really creepy like right now it's not really that creepy but at certain nights you will hear them literally come into your house and push against doors and move stuff and shit and it's really creepy because there are multiple monsters that will come for you and eventually it's just like it is it is doable but it's it's getting really hard after a few nights like right now it's nothing nothing to be worried about because the first night and the first night is really easy at least i haven't had any encounters in the first night but like the second night you yeah, may have a chance that monsters will come into your house and i heard i've heard that this this room is the best room to stay in uh, but every time you make a new game <laughs> You will get like a different map, a different kind of stuff. Maybe your house will be here or here, or just the map will be totally different. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. I think after this, uh, this, this sort of walkthrough that we have, I'm not sure if you guys want me to continue this, but I really enjoy it, so I think I will. Uh, and maybe after this, we can do a, a game on permadeath, which is when you die, you just de you're just death, <laughs> just like that. I think that's that's a pretty cool thing, cool thing. I think uh, we, I won't really survive that long, but who knows. Like, I, I, I'm really into this kind of survival genre kind of games, indie survival games, 2D. So, I was kind of thinking of maybe another game that we could that we could do for this channel, like maybe uh, Don't Starve. I think it would be pretty cool. Also, I could do Collapse with that. Um, you know, Don't Starve Together. It's it, it, I think it would be pretty cool. I don't have the game yet, but I might buy it, like, next month or something. Um, just to try it out, you know, because it, it seems really cool. It seems like the same of this, but I think this game is just a bit too hard at the moment because a lot of things are unbalanced. Like the monsters hit like half HP of you, and you can get better and stuff by finding certain things. But if you don't find good weapons, or if you don't, or you don't find good, good stuff to use, then you're pretty much fucked. And I've had that like happen to me like two or three nights in a row. And, and when you die like multiple nights, you will lose all of your skills and. Like, right now I don't have any skills, but I will show you in a few seconds, because the skin will turn right in a few seconds, and it will mean that we survive the night. And this night is... First night is always pretty easy. I'm just gonna dismantle this in a few seconds. Disarm it. <laughs> but you will see, guys. This game will get more interesting the further you go. And right now, as you can see, screen 
is white. We survived the night. That's okay. That's a pretty cool thing. It's a bit laggy. I'm just gonna disarm it because I can't stand my own traps, which it's not really a good thing to do. And I, for some reason, I have frame black right now. I think it's the, I think it was the white thing thingy. It's okay because the episode's nearly done. Well, as you can see right here, every night you survive, you get a mushroom, and it's always good to start the, your day with a handful of fresh mushrooms as a reward for sur surviving the night. I gathered some tasty ones for you. Bon appetit. P.S. Remember, mushrooms taste better when cooked. Of course they do. So, I'm just going to show you real quick. This is really laggy. I'm really sorry about this, guys. Um, it's just a really laggy screen. But as you can see, every time I put something in, um, I, will, I, will, I will get a bit of this. And now I have I, I can level up skill. So, better state is, is a negative skill. And I think I will use the see better underneath objects like trees. I think that's a pretty, pretty good one. So, I'm just going to do that. And well, that's what that one's fixed. So now I have a skill, and it will save automatically. And that was kind of the first night, guys. This is really the first night's really e easy, but uh, there's a lot of this to discover. And I think this game is really cool. I'm also happy I can record it with proper frames. Not right now, but I'm not sure why that is. Doesn't really matter. Um, I think that if in the next episode, if you guys enjoy this, I think I will like make a way through here and just search for something. Maybe. Uh, Maybe the Wolfman's Camp, which we can trade some stuff to. Just some stuff that we can use, you know? So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, I, hope you I hope to see you guys in the next chapter. I think the next video will be a TF2 video. Because a lot of you guys have been waiting for that as well. But I just want to say thank you for watching this, uh, this game with me. And thanks for giving it a chance. So, uh, take care, guys. Ooh,